before I even jump into the uh, review of the Antelope Discrete Synergy Core uh, 4, uh, before I even talk about this, uh, there's one thing I do want to bring up, and I want to put this right at the front of the video um, because of how important it is. Now, when you watch a review on YouTube or just read one, it's because you're interested in purchasing uh, you know, the product nine times out of 10, you're, you're watching the review because you want to know about the product. And one thing I've kind of seen sort of left out is this, um, especially on the antelope audio interfaces. And it's changed a little bit since I've purchased it, but I'm going to basically just explain this now as I feel it's really important. It has a lot to do uh, with purchasing it. Uh, and that's kind of talking about the promotions and their software and uh, what to expect and how to expect it. So first off, the unit itself, this guy right here, the Synergy Core Discrete 4 is uh, $1,100. Uh, that's the first thing. That's the cost. Um, you know, however, you know, you look at it, you're spending over a grand on an audio interface. That's a lot of money up front, um, but it is an incredible sounding interface. Everything about it is awesome. And I will get to that point and I will talk about how great it is. Um, but just, just know it's a really great, awesome sounding interface. And, uh, at $1,100, um, you're definitely getting a lot for your money. Great pre's, great sounding converters, um, a really awesome package, but there are some sort of caveats in there. And I'm going to talk about those now. Uh, first off, as you can see here, I'm on vintage Kings website, $1,100 for the price. Little announcement here, free plugins, uh, audio interface info, all the cool stuff that you would see if you're going to go online down here in this spot right here um, is the promotion. Now, um, this promotion is from August 1st through September 30th. Today is August 29th. Uh, so about a month from now, this promotion is still going to be going on. Uh, if you purchase this unit, um, you are getting $1,600 worth of effects. Now, uh, that is the current promotion at this point in time and I want to stop there and rewind. I purchased my Antelope Audio Discrete 4 in January of this year. I was looking at purchasing them around September of November of 2020, um, and then I waited till after the first of the year to snag one, which was uh, January like 13-ish, I remember correctly, is when I picked this up. Now, at the time, the promotion for this unit was if you bought the unit, it wasn't plugins. What you got was a copy of Bitwig, the digital audio workstation. Um, you got a couple of the plugins that come with the unit, which I think are like 32 or 36 different, uh, you know, em emulations and stuff like that. And then the big thing was you got a antelope audio modeling microphone, kind of like the slate stuff that you could like digitally emulate different microphones. And the one that they gave you was the uh, Edge Solo, which was a $400 microphone. So you're getting $400 mic, you're getting like a two to $300 DAW, and then you're getting a bunch of plugins. Um, and that was my promotion. Um, now we're fast forwarding to, you know, almost, you know, six months later, seven months later, and we're in August, uh, a little bit going into September, uh, and the promotions have changed. Um, now from what I've noticed, and I don't want to be quoted on this in a future video or anything like that, but they, they have, and, and this could change at any moment is they have kind of sort of kept this promotional thing up because when I looked at November, that was the promotion and it was expiring like on the first of December and then December came around and the promotion renewed after like two to three days of there not being a promotion. And it was like that through January and then February. And then I stopped looking because I didn't need to anymore, but it, it kind of seemed like there was almost like a consistent promotion thing, um, which they're giving you something in exchange for purchasing their product is like almost like a thank you or incentive to purchase their product. Now, with the free uh, $1,600 in effects, what you're getting in that effects bundle is huge. Um, you're getting a copy of like Auto-Tune uh, Synergy Core, which basically embeds Auto-Tune right into the preamp. So going on in the way into your DAW, the vocals are going to be tuned, pitch corrected right before they even touch your DAW. Very awesome, very great plugin. You're getting a bunch of the premium stuff. There's like a Mog EQ4 with the Airband emulation. There's a couple other things too, a couple different really nice tube pre's and different things like that. But the big thing in that $1,600 bundle that's really, really important is the AFX2 DAW plugin. 
And what that is, is it's the plugin that allows you to have the feature and the ability to run all of Antelope Audio's plugins within your DAW. So if you have Reaper, Logic, Cubase, Pro Tools, whatever, if you want to run these purchased emulation plugins, you have to purchase AFX2 DAW, which is $199. When you purchase this unit brand new now, you are getting this bundle for free, $1,600 bundle with all these plugins, including the AFX to DAW. So you will be able to, right off the bat now, at this given point for this next month until this promotion ends or if it continues or whatever, you have to look and check into that. And that's what I'm sort of talking about this. You are able to purchase this hardware and then you get the software bundle that gives you that capability. Now, when I purchased it, like I mentioned, I didn't have this. So if I want to run the plugins that I have purchased or the ones that came with my unit for free, if I want to run them inside my DAW, I cannot until I purchase the AFX to DAW, which is $199. So at this given point, you know, it's $1,100 for the interface and you're getting that option. But like, let's say next month or two months or three, four months from now, the promotion is something different again, like the free microphone or the, the free DAW or something like that. And you are in that boat. It might be something that you have to consider because you'd have to spend $1,100 to buy the interface and then another 200 if you wanted that feature. And for me, I never bought it because I just felt that it wasn't worth it. Um, and in comparison to like their number one competitor, Universal Audio, um, you know, they're giving you that feature for free. So now I'm thinking, you know, it's it's been eight months and that was the first kind of thought in my head, like why are they charging for this? That's kind of whack. Um, you know, they should just give it to you free because if you buy any Universal Audio device you're getting all these plugins for free with it and then you could run them with no questions asked so why wouldn't antelope be doing the same thing essentially um and it seems sort of like maybe they're transitioning towards that so um just keep a look out for the promotions to see um what it is and do the research there um and i will cover this more in a future part of this video but that's sort of the uh T, I don't want to say TLDR because it was kind of long, but this is sort of the big thing to keep in mind is looking at their promotions and what you're actually getting with the unit itself. Um, it's pretty clear on most websites, but um, you know, make sure you follow up with that and check. Looking at the unit, this is the Antelope Audio Synergy Core Discrete 4. Synergy Core. Uh, four is the number of preamps, two in the front and two in the back right there. Um, Solid unit, pick it up right off the bat. You feel the weight behind the unit. Seriously heavy, I would say probably five to six-ish pounds. Uh, it really does feel solid. Uh, the knobs, this front knob that you can, you know, do volume stuff with and, um, you know, if you push it in, you can mute. It feels really, really good. The ports on the back, including the preamp uh, ports, uh, they are this, like, thick plastic almost um but it's not like a cheapy plastic it's a very it's good feeling plastic uh you're not going to worry about things falling out or you know like unplugging it because it's loose or anything like that and they don't feel like cheap or flimsy they feel very very solid uh build quality for me on this unit is 10 out of 10 uh it always has been and always will be um i actually dropped this thing about two weeks into getting it you can see that corner right there if it focuses um, you know, just, it, it did dent the, the metal, but it was like a five foot drop that it fell, picked it up, plugged it back in and it was, uh, good to go. Um, it was an unfortunate accident and it happened so soon, but uh, everything was fine. So, uh, longevity is in mind when they are designing these products, uh, heat. Um, one of the things that this has is some, ventilation ports on each side the unit does get to a point of i don't want to say you know fire burning hell and brimstone uh, it does get warm uh, a lot of audio interfaces do especially when you're running with the dsp chips essentially it's a pc mini pc just in an enclosure um, it's going to get hot but uh, the cooling ports on this thing definitely attribute to keeping it at a completely functional level i leave this or i left it on for days at a time weeks at a time months at a time i've really never shut it off 
um, and it's been on every single day for the most part. I, you know, there's no on off switch and the power cable is a screw in unit. So when you plug it in, there's like a little screw and it's not coming off. Uh, so I've never shut it off. I don't know if it's kind of one of the things you're supposed to do, but it's been on for uh, over six months, basically. Um, and the only times I ever unplug it is when I move stuff around or whatever, and I've had no problems with that. And the heat stays very cool when it's kind of idling. It's almost like the unit isn't on. Uh, it's really just starts to get warm when you're doing a bunch of stuff. Now, looking at the front panel, we have two of the combo preamp jacks. Uh, these are basically for guitars, DI, stuff like that, uh, keyboards, whatever, line in, and then the microphone uh, XLR connector is there as well. Again, you have two on the front and you have two on the back. The LCD screen, um, you know, it's not any pretty graphics. It's basically just a kind of, you know, small digital LCD screen that tells you in a nice white uh, LED kind of pixelated font what's going on. Three buttons down the middle to change between the menus so you can access them here. I never really mess with that. I just do it all in the software. It's much easier. And then the selection button and mute and um, volume for monitors, headphones, whatever. Four headphone outs and that is the front of the unit. On the back, we have the two um, preamps. Again, we have some outputs, both the mains for your monitors, and then four outputs, which you can use to run outboard, pretty much what I use them for. We have the world clock, the USB, and then all of your digital IO, and that port that I was talking about, as well as I think they're called Kensington locks, uh, and keep it safe in case you're worried about someone stealing it. Um, but that is the unit and all of everything that is on it itself. Now to further drill into this guy and talk a little bit about the overall experience with working with Antelope and having this device for over eight months, um, it, it gets a little technical. So first up is the unit, what it offers with the effects world and the FG FPGA processing and the DSP processing. So basically, um, without going over the top technical, they have computer chips inside this that run all of the emulation, just like um, Universal Audio does, uh, Antelope does the same thing. So it's basically got this kind of quad core processor inside that's basically running all of your effects. Um, and with the FPGA, I have to remember that and say it correctly, uh, it's basically zero latency. And I will basically agree with that. It is zero latency. If you were worried about latency in any way, shape or form there, <laughs> there is no latency on this issue. Um, I have recorded uh, on this. There is no latency on this device. Uh, I have recorded at a bunch of different rates. Um, I have recorded with four pre's in at the same time, um, you know, doing uh, like you know, singer songwriter stuff, even a small drum kit. Uh, and there's zero latency, uh, mixing, um, you know, tracking. It does not matter what you were doing. There is no latency. Um, take my word for it. It will not be a problem. I've tried you know, a few times to figure out if, um, if that was even like a thing that could even be a problem on this unit. And, um, I have never exceeded it. Uh, as far as the plugins go, um, I've, there's a huge library of plugins that they offer. Um, you can check them out on their website, basically just like universal audio. Uh, you have tons of stuff to choose from all emulations, some, you know, professional names in there. Uh, Bay is one of them. Uh, and a couple other ones, uh, and they are all very good emulations from the ones that I've used. Uh, you do, when you purchase the unit, get um, about 32 or 34 of them for free. I don't remember exactly. You know, your basic stuff, a few EQs, a few uh, different, you know, play, uh, effects and stuff like that, and some preamps. I'll get to that in a second, too, with the emulation. Uh, and all of them sound really, really good. Uh, they run with no problem, uh, no hiccups. I've had... Uh, probably maybe 10 on 
um, a couple of different um, on, on each channel. Basically, for each preamp, you could assign uh, different effects to them from the effects catalog. And I think I've had, um, you know, basically about three or four of them on each one, um, maybe doing three channels at once. So, you know, maybe 10 or 12 uh, and zero issues. I never really pushed it. And um, I will get to that later um, in this as well. But where it currently stands now, um, you know, the plugins are very, very solid and they're definitely comparable to the stuff that Universal Audio offers. So now going into those preamps, we go to the preamp section. So these preamps are just like what Universal Audio does with the Unison Pre's. They are fully um, basically controllable by these, you know, digital emulations. You can change out and get these sort of different preamps that they offer. Uh, of course, they have like a 1073 type preamp, and then they have a couple other ones. The two you get for free, I think one emulates a like vintage broadcast preamp uh, or two. I don't remember, but um, they're basically pretty good sounding. There's a Gyrotech or Gyrotech. I don't know how you say it, but that's their kind of like main one that they give you. And that one sounds really clean. Um, but honestly, most of the time when I'm tracking, uh, whether it be through guitars or um, anything else, I'm not really using the onboard pre's. I'm using, um, well, yeah, I'm not really using the onboard pre's. I'm using external um, hardware and then I'm running it in through the uh, ins, uh, basically bypassing them and using them as line level. Um, but the pre's themselves on this unit, um, without the emulation of a you know digital emulation without using that they are very clean they are very pristine they are very sterile with the emulation using like the gyrotech for instance it's beautiful it's very pristine it's very clean it's not so much sterile it's warm it's still on the sterile-ish side but you can use these things on just about anything with almost zero noise floor they just sound great um and i love them I think they're the one of the best sounding stock pre's that you can get inside of an audio interface without having to go buy a pre. Um, Universal Audio makes great interfaces. Their interfaces sound amazing. Um, and um, I don't wanna play favorites because I don't like doing that. But having used this and it having come from an Apollo device, I will say that I do like the preamps on this way better. I think there is a lot more to offer in the sort of 3D sound and how the preamp is working and picking things up. Uh, everything is more open and clear, if that makes sense. Uh, not saying universal audio preamps are bad or anything like that, because they are not. They're absolutely amazing. I loved the sound quality that I got out of my Apollo, but I just think the Antelope comes into a spot where it's just a little bit more open, a little bit more clarity, which can do with the converters. And I think that's sort of the next part here is the conversion. So the conversion on this thing for running outboard or doing whatever um, is next to none. I mean, there it is incredible. I, every interface that I've had up until this point um, it, with the exception of my Motu, um, <laughs> has not sounded as good. Like the, I've been through probably nine or 10 different interfaces and this guy right here in the converter realm, along with my Motu are, are like right here. They're like side by side. Everything else is just slightly under or a lot under. Um, and I'm not going to put the names there for companies I've had. I don't want to do that. But the, if you're looking for some serious, just incredible sound quality and good conversion. This is going to be it. Um, very, very, very good quality. Uh, if you, especially if you're running outboard gear, which is the main thing I do uh, and why I bought this unit. Um, but yeah, very, very cr crystal clear, wide open, full sounding, beautiful, just sound coming from this fusion, uh, from this unit through the conversion and the preamps. So both of those. Um, you know, I'm going to put that in the, you know, 9.9 .9 out of 10, 10 out of 10 area because both are really good. Also really good sounding is the headphone amp. Um, these four outputs, um, you know, they drive whatever headphones you want to throw at them and they do it at the highest rate possible. Uh, I use Bayer Dynamics. These things are incredible sounding with this interface. They 
whether it be just for listening to music, YouTube videos, movies, whatever, the sound is crystal clear and pristine. It, it comes through beautifully. You can hear things greatly. Uh, and if you're just doing mixing or mastering or anything like that, it's the same thing. Perfect quality, very, very good quality. Everything sounds beautiful, lush, airy, vibrant. Uh, I just, it, it's great. Um, again, 10 out of 10 with the headphone amps. Next thing I kind of talk about is the mic modeling. So as I mentioned, um, I bought this unit um, last year. The promotion at the time came with a Antelope uh, Audio uh, Edge Solo microphone, which is one of their modeling mics. Uh, this does have the capability to model microphones. Um, it's a very kind of streamlined system. Uh, it's not complex at all. Very straightforward, very easy to understand. Basically, you load the software, choose the microphone uh, that you want to emulate, plug in, you know, the microphone, obviously, and you're good to go. Um, it does come with a couple of different emulations, um, and you can purchase more, but uh, all the emulations sounded great. Um, I don't use it too much. I'm, I'm not a fan of the whole mic modeling idea. Um, uh, it's, it's great that it's a feature that companies can put out and offer, but it's just not for me. I'd rather sing into the actual microphone. Um, is there a difference? Um, you know, at the end of the day, at a mix down, um, Probably not. Um, I mean, you probably can hear it if you have really good system that you're listening on or if you know what you're looking for. You can probably hear the differences, but I'm going to tell you with processing and EQ and compression and all that good stuff that you put on to a track, the differences between a modeling mic and the actual mic, you're probably not going to be able to tell. For me, it's more of the idea of just knowing what my microphone sounds like because I know what it's going to sound like. I know where I need to EQ. I know the frequencies of my microphone versus an emulation, which I still have to learn because it's not 100% sitting there for me or something like that. Um, but if you're looking for the mic modeling thing, this absolutely does a great job with the mic modeling. They offer a ton of different microphones, um, both large and small diaphragm. Um, they have some stereo options and stuff too. It's pretty cool. Again, check out their website and do a little bit more research on that. But if you are looking for kind of the whole sort of, you know, shebang, big deal, um, you know, all your plugins are in the box and your microphones are in the box and you just have one mic and one interface, this is definitely a number one contender. Coming up to the next part is the good old debate of USB versus Thunderbolt. So this does both um, the USB probably more so for Windows, Thunderbolt more so for Mac, though this is where things get a little weird. Um, as I mentioned earlier, the AFX to DAW, the plugin that you need to purchase in order to run your software uh, plugins and emulations that you've purchased from Universal Audio, it only works on the Thunderbolt platform right now. So if you are using this with a PC that uses USB, like me, um, you were not going to be able to do that. You would need to buy a Thunderbolt card and make sure it's compatible. I would definitely reach out to their customer support and ask questions on that, what they recommend if they have something that they've seen work. But if you were looking for that featuring uh, capability and you're running a laptop or desktop with no Thunderbolt, Thunderbolt card, um, you're going to have to invest in one. And that's still kind of an uncommon thing on computers still in 2021. I'm seeing it more now than I did a year, a year and a half ago. But, um, you know, it's usually only like the pre uh, premium, like high end gaming PCs and laptops, you know, you don't really see it on your like stock um, PC. So if you're kind of mobile and you have like a Dell or an HP or like an Asus or something like that, um, you know, and you don't have a Thunderbolt uh, option, um, you know, maybe see if there's like a, a USB to Thunderbolt thing that works with this, you know, like I said, contact customer support. Uh, but keep in mind that is something you will have to kind of look into yourself. Um, but the difference that um, I've seen with this on US, um, USB uh, versus other devices that I've worked with on Thunderbolt, um, I don't notice a difference. Again, latency, like I said, is um, next to none. Uh, the drivers are super solid and all the software, which I'm going to do now, uh, is incredible. 
uh, all their software and their development team is just incredible. They know how to seriously make a solid piece of software uh, and the drivers are just like, again, really, really good. You know, RME is known as having the best drivers in the pro audio game. They have everything in house and they are just the best. They are super solid. Um, I can say easily that Antelope is also in that list with super solid and great performing uh you know drivers um as well my motu again great sounding great performing drivers no issues with uh the driver world the technical side of things so uh, if you're looking for that kind of reliability uh they push updates pretty frequently uh from what i've seen firmware same thing um i've had this unit um three or four times i've had firmware updates in the the eight months that i've owned it pretty much um again all firmware updates gone through, no problem, no issues with bricking or anything like that. So you don't have to worry about the software side of things. But moving into the software side of things, uh, their software and their software is really, really good. And we are in the uh, software section now. Um, and this is the control panel software that you will be using whenever you really got to do anything. Very beautiful, very easy on the eyes. It's gorgeous, streamlined, simple, yet elegant. Uh, it's great. Um, down here on the left, we have a monitor controller with mute and dim. Uh, the switches and knobs are very sensitive in the software. They just feel good to use. Uh, headphones, same thing. Uh, up top here, we have the four preamps. Uh, you can see the VU meters in the middle and the bottom, uh, and then we got the Aura Verb and some mixer stuff on the side. Um, now I'm not really going to talk about that too much. I'm just going to go right into the preamps here. Uh, each preamp is totally customizable as to how you want to set it. So right now, like mic one and now two, I'm ch changing through it. But uh, guitar, as you see here, line in is the other option. You just click and it changes the source of what's going into the preamp. Uh, and they change presets sort of based upon... Um, you know, what you're choosing, you know, gain volume levels, and you can do that for all four. This section here is for the effects. Um, you know, you want to add some of those amazing emulations that uh, Antelope Audio offers. All you got to do is click on the box, uh, and the box will open up a new window here, and which is the uh, area where you can choose all the different effects. So I'll throw 1176 on here now. Um, this is a voiceover, so you're not going to hear it um, affecting this pre-recorded thing, but take my word for it, the 1176, you know, it really sounds like an 1176. And, um, you know, that's kind of the case with all of their plugins. Um, you know, each one of them is just so well designed and just great you know they they do compete with universal audio very easily in terms of what you're hearing and like what you're feeling when you turn a knob it really feels almost like a uh, like a hardware but it's not like you it reacts the same way but it's it takes a little while to get used to but regardless it's great plugins um, and it all integrates seamlessly within each other uh, anytime you want to add a new one you just uh, go ahead and create, um, add a new effect. I, I don't know if there's a cap of how many you can put onto a channel, uh, but, uh, you know, like I said, I never really used more than, you know, three or four on a channel and, you know, maybe three uh, channels at max. Um, you know, I, I didn't really buy this for the software, but that being said, uh, the options that you get, the different, uh, you know, mic Pre's, the EQs, the compressors that you get, they're all really great. They're all super usable. Um, you know, they definitely throw a contender for even some of the cheaper outboard gear. That's not so great. Uh, some of these emulations can definitely be better than cheap outboard. Just something to keep in mind. Um, you know, just because something has tubes doesn't mean it's going to sound better than something that's solid state. And just because something's a plug-in doesn't always mean it's going to sound better. Um, hardware is going to always sound better than a plug-in because it's digital. Um, 
you know, it's it's use your ears kind of thing, but everything is very pleasable here, and uh, it's a, an enjoyment to use. Uh, all their stuff is really just uh, super uh, elegant and fluid, and it's all cohesive, and it all works nicely. And this is just, you know, touching the tip of the iceberg. I don't want to spend hours discussing uh, software, but it is seriously awesome and this whole entire experience of using the software was just honestly in such an enjoyable experience and let's jump away from software for a second and go to the hardware what comes in the box uh you get the interface itself the synergy uh core discrete four um given uh, the usb cable uh and of course the power supply um and like i mentioned it's a very nice power supply um they kind of like laptop brick but um you know that little piece at the end there that's got the screw in um you could kind of hear it um very very just solid um and i'll just show that really quick because a lot of companies should actually do this um you know basically plugs in and then just uh screw it and then uh, you don't have to worry about it coming undone. I uh, just tightened it loose. I mean, didn't tighten it. Uh, it was just tightened loosely enough just to show you. And it's still really, really solid. So really awesome feature to have. Uh, and that's what comes in the box, at least for me. Uh, of course, your instruction manuals and all that stuff. Um, with the promotion for me, they sent the microphone a lot later. It came separately, um, and I got emailed all the codes once I registered the units. Um, a little bit about the plugins and registration system, and I just want to kind of disclaimer this because I, I found an article from like Sweetwater and their help section, um, and I can't really find too, too much on this. Um, but, um, from what I've seen, basically, if you no longer wish to own your unit and you want to sell it and pick up one second hand, if it's registered to me and, um, I sell it to my dog behind me and he wants to use it, uh, he just pretty much plugs it in and unregisters it from me and registers it to him. Um, there's like no, uh, insane, like you have to call, like wait, go on hold, wait, go through the email process. It's very just... Now it's, this is mine, this is mine, it's mine now. Uh, and you don't have to worry about it. And the second thing which goes with that is the, the plugins. Um, from what I've read online, um, they're linked to the hardware. So I don't know if you spend, you know, two or $3,000 um, on plugins, buy everything, for instance. Uh, you have everything and, you know, you buy another device I don't know if it's, there has to be something in there and that's probably a question for Antelope's customer support team. Um, I didn't ask them, but you might want to look into that. But from what I've read, um, at least I think maybe with just the 36, uh, you know, free plugins that they give you, um, I think they're linked to the hardware so that when the next person um, opens this and sets it up on their computer, they'll have access to those plugins and, uh, they'll be able to simply register in their name. Uh, they don't have to jump through hoops. Um, but yeah, I'm not sure about that. So if someone in the comments section has any info or something like that, they want to shine a light, um, you know, uh, definitely let me know. I will like pin it or something or um, maybe just delete this section um, entirely, I guess. Um, but as far as I know and what I've seen online, um, it's just that's how it is. Um, I guess they're linked hardware software is linked to hardware. Um, but moving on sound samples, um, obviously, um, you know, you want to hear what this thing can do. I'm going to play some samples, uh, a guitar, uh, basically a, um, bass, uh, and then voiceover, um, just so you can hear the sound quality. The guitars are going to be, a uh, different array of things. You could kind of hear it uh, throughout its paces. Uh, this thing works great with reamps. Uh, this, again, going to the awesome sounding pre's and conversion. Uh, the DI is really good if you want to run uh, directly into your uh, amp sim or Axe Effects or Kemper um, afterwards. The great DI's every time. Um, and you can hear um, basically the quality of all of this now.
Uh, okay, so right now, this is the voiceover section. As you hear me talking to you, I am talking through a SM7B directly into the Discrete 4. There is no EQ, no compression. It's just directly in. Uh, gain setting is at 47 dB. Lots of gain to drive this and any other microphone that needs it. Um, all of my voiceover work in almost every single video I've uploaded, including this one, all the talking, it's the discrete for preamp and usually my 7B, unless it's an older video, but I always specify what I'm using when I'm using it, uh, if it's not the discrete for, um, very clean, very pristine, nice preamps. They work great for everything. Uh, you know, you just heard it DI. Uh, they, they're just, they're great pre's. They sound awesome. Um, very nice conversion. Gets this beautiful signal straight through your DAW with just perfect pristine results. Um, no questions asked there. So you hear it now. Um, it's a great sounding pre. Um, I, you know, if I throw some compression and EQ on it, it makes it even nicer. That's pretty much what it comes down to. And that's pretty much it with the unit itself. Uh, you know, like I said, solid, sounds good, looks good, feels good. Software is very easy to use, very elegant, beautiful, simple, not hard. Setups, awesome. Um, you know, updates, firmware, drivers, all that's great. Uh, and then, you know, the converters, the preamp, um, and everything that has to go in this small little box. It's all just great. I can't say enough good. Um, like I said, there are definitely pros. Um, really big pros are the converters, uh, the clocking, the anti-jitter algorithms and all that good stuff that makes the digital to audio and audio to digital uh, back and forth, you know, just flawless. Uh, all that's really great. Um, cons, um, really... The, uh, like I said in the beginning, the promotion thing, really keeping an eye on that. Um, you know, it's, I can't say like, you know, I'm mad because I don't get the free software. Like I got, you know, a $700 microphone, uh, in my promotion, you don't get a $700 microphone. So it, what's more important to you? Um, a $700 modeling mic, and that sounds good as a standalone mic also, um, or, uh, a $200 plug-in, a $350 plug-in, and a bunch of $100 to $200 plug-ins. Um, you know, if you're mixing in the box and, you know, you're looking for an all-in-one solution, I'm sure you'd want the plug-ins. But if you're, you know, looking to have some more physical hardware that you could utilize in your studio, you'd probably want the promotion bundle. So, you know, moving on to now, here we are. Uh, you know, eight months later, um, you know, I can't be upset that my promotion was different than uh, this promotion. But, you know, having a feature as alone the uh, AFX to DAW, having that be a premium feature, charged feature, uh, just to begin with, that's a big con for me. And one, it came to deciding whether I was going to buy this or something else for the road. Um, you know, I really sat down and thought about it and, um, you know, the other options like the sound quality really made me keep it, uh, made me really think about it. Obviously it's not my main interface. My Motu is, uh, and, um, you know, just as a main interface that might be a deal breaker to some people, but I just thought that was kind of, I won't say lame, but lame. Um, you know, and that's like the one negative thing I can say about this entire thing is just charging for that service. And I understand they have to make money. Um, but when your number one competitor, Universal Audio, is doing it for free, you know, that's something that maybe you should reconsider a business model. I'm not telling them how to run their company or anything, but if it was me, I would figure out another way around that and give that feature for free. And it sort of seems that with the new promotion, that's what they're doing, uh, going that route where you get it as a promotion, whereas you're sort of getting it as a promotion too, 
with Universal Audio. So it's kind of in the same realm. And I think that's where we're alluding to in the future. Um, but um, yeah, I mean, I would have never charged for it in the per first place. And that's my one negative criticism feedback thing to say. Um, one thing that I do want to say um, in realm of good, uh, really, really good feedback, um, and it's not a pro or a con, but it's just amazing, is Antelope Audio's customer service. And um, holy sh**, it's amazing. Like, I had an issue, and uh, the hardest thing was trying to fit a time um, for me to reach out to them and set up an actual appointment because... They're um, across the seas, as you know, Antelope is made in the United Kingdom and their customer support is in the United Kingdom. So um, for me, I had to schedule something, you know, some seven hours out or whatever. Um, and uh, that, that, that was the hardest part. Everything else was absolutely flawless, just like their products. Their customer support is so smooth. Um, I had an incredible time. Uh, their customer service rep that I talked to was incredibly helpful. Um, he had to remote into my computer um, and he had to fix some stuff with some settings that I was having an issue with uh, for the way that I route things. And it was just so convenient and helpful. Um, you know, this is one of the times where you do remember your experience and um, it really captivates a part of um, you know, your, your hardware that you're buying your software that you're using, but your experience that you're having with the company, it all kind of fits together like a beautiful trifecta. And if you're looking for somebody who's, or a company that has somebody who's caring about the customer, I can definitely say Antelope is on that list. Uh, Motu is as well for me. Um, and I've had some other companies, which again, I won't mention any names whose customer service was just downright awful and they don't care because they don't need to care because they have thousands of other um, clients and customers that are paying them. So what's a few hundred dollars that they're losing out on to lose the customer? Uh, and I won't, like I said, mention any names, but it, they're out there and um, it's unfortunate. Um, yeah, great customer service, something to keep in mind. Uh, and then you know, really, I guess the last thing to kind of talk about is um, wh what's the difference, I guess, between spending $1,100 on this or going to a sub, you know, three, $400, um, I guess, interface, even, you know, two, sub $200 um, you, you, with, with the Antelope Audio uh, Discrete 4, uh, at least in my opinion, you are in the professional level. Um, I think this is a professional interface. It is a high quality interface. The conversion is very, very good. Um, yeah, you know, just you hear it, it hears and sounds perfect. You play through it. It just picks up everything so well. Sure, you don't need, uh, you know, a million dollar converter. But, you know, the difference when I first plugged this guy in uh, versus other previous interfaces I have used was right there. I, I heard the difference immediately. More wide, more open, more lush, airy, deep, um, 3D sounding, if you would. Uh, it was there. The conversion was definitely there. And that alone, for me, <clears throat> was worth the $1,100 price tag. Uh, the promotional things that they added in, you know, when you justify the cost of the microphone for me, uh, in this case now, the cost of the software, you know, it really does feel like you're getting a, a, a ton of awesome for your money. So the $1,100 price tag really doesn't hurt. If you look at things in the below price range and the above price range for a little bit more, yeah, you can go a little bit more, um, uh, but, you know, if, if this fits your criteria, the ins and the outs, uh, four ins, uh, uh, you know, four preamp ins and, you know, combo jacks, four outs, uh, you know, with the two mains, if the four and the four is good for you stock and you're, you know, you're not going to add anything else, pick up the unit. If you're looking for, you know, more preamps or, um, you know, you want expandability, uh, in a single device and you don't want to run a dat. Um, you know, maybe consider the discrete eight. It's basically the same thing, just four more. Um, and there are different things too, but I mean, the whole entire line of antelope is all really great. I can't say enough good about them. 
Um, you know, maybe eventually down the road in the future, I will outfit my entire studio in antelope gear um, when I get the funds, as it is a little bit on the pricier side. Um, but um, yeah, I can't say enough good. And um, yeah, if you have any other questions or if I missed anything, please let me know. But uh, yeah, everything that you see here is um, the Antelope Discrete 4 in a nutshell. That's a pretty awesome unit. Maybe I'll throw some B-roll in there, uh, some spinny shots of it, make it look all nice and high definition. I don't know. But yeah, the Antelope Discrete 4. Pretty, pretty damn awesome interface with uh, even better and more awesome sounds. If you found this video at all helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe. Let the YouTube algorithm get to work and do its thing. It would mean a lot to me. And as always, thanks again for watching. Have a good one.